What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm back on my main account. We're rolling with an AK-101. Recently, a few weeks ago, the AKs got a buff again, so they're sort of functioning similar to where they were a couple wipes ago. AK-74s, AKMs, AK-101s, the whole lot. Now, even still, they're not gonna be as good as the best in slot HKs and M4s, but I still personally like the AK-101, always have, and I typically do quests like Shooter Born in Heaven with the AK-101 because the velocity of the rounds that leaves this gun, I believe is one of the fastest in the game. So either way, I'm a sucker for AKs and we're running the 101. Joining me today initially is Chicken Prism and this is gonna be on the end of our session together where he decides to head offline for the day. We had an up and down day of some really cool moments mixed with some pretty tough ones. Chicken popped an SJ6 and ran into the resort and I was having a distracted conversation with my chat and I went to the wrong side of the resort like an idiot. So that's where the video is gonna be starting today. And then later, I'm gonna be jumping on with Jesse Kazam for some more raids rocking my AK-101. Are you inside? Yeah. What side, left or right? Like west or east? Grenades at the yeah. west side? Yeah, yeah, they're over there fighting each other. Okay, I'm, I'm moving into level one, east. There's another one over here. It's okay. outside. I'm not outside. Nope. I'm inside. He is. Where is he approaching? Uh, he's coming from the, the admin. Yeah, he's on admin side right now. I think he's going to cross over. What's your position? Sitting at the door at the helicopter side entrance. All right. All right. That's a scab on me. I'm just got a hemostat. I'm in east wing with like, yeah, I'm on east wing with like, the uh, all the lead X's. Are you on West Wing? Yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck. Yeah, there's a guy on either side of me. All right, I'm gonna have to run somewhere. They're throwing nades at you, I imagine, huh? All right, sit tight. Okay. I'll be over there in a second. That at you or at each other? I'm dead. You're dead? They nated me. I never saw it. Didn't sound like it landed next to me, but... Were you on it? level 2 or level 1? I'm sorry, dude. I crossed the wrong fucking side. Outside at the truck. At the door. I'm just fucking goosing it. So they're at level 1 throwing nades out at you, I imagine? Yeah. If if you run up outside like that, you'll die. He's sitting at the windows. I'm ratting them. They still think you're alive. I mean, he might be out of grenades finally. He only brought 30 into the fucking raid. They're still fighting each other. I like successfully snuck up behind them. Nice. But uh, I just missed him. He's on the third. You died at the truck? Yeah, I died right at the truck. I think they're looting you. Okay, yeah, no worries, dude. Take it easy, all right? And, uh... Apex patch is coming out in a couple hours, so I'm gonna hit that pretty hard tonight. 
Anyway, have good raids, dude. Good luck. Thanks. Milliseconds, boys. Milliseconds. I was spamming left click so hard. How the fuck are you alive? Shot him in the head. Tracksuit. I gotta say, North American servers are popping today. Like, I have I haven't seen shit like this on Hardcore. I don't understand, man. It's almost like there's fucking hidden MMR in the game or something. It's weird. Like, I'm playing on the same servers that I play on Hardcore. Where are all these guys when I'm playing Tarkov? On Hardcore. In the resort. That's true. That's true. I typically don't go into the resort and I don't go into dorms. Dude, it gives me so much joy. And this is ego talking. And the only reason why is because I just won that fight. But nothing gives me no like more joy and satisfaction than killing somebody with a 37 vert M4 HK. Like, it's my favorite thing. I fucking love it. Especially when I'm using shit like an AK-101. I'm gonna have to drop the Ronin, probably. Uh, okay, he shoved the magazines up his bum. Alright, fuck that. I'm gonna take the guns. Level 67. Jesus. Alright. Did chicken kill one? Nope. So in the heat of the moment, I always give people a hard time for running things like 37 vert M4s and HKs. You'll hear me talk about it all the time in my stream. But honestly, Tarkov isn't really a game about being fair. So if you feel the need to always run that type of equipment for consistency in PVP, slicks, uh, X fills, 37 verts, whatever you need, you just have to do it because the only reason why I personally don't do that all the time is because I find it boring only because I've been playing this game for years. And for a lot of people, they have different experiences, different backgrounds and different takes. There's really no reason to some folks to not run the best gear in the game because to do that, you're going to put yourself at unnecessary disadvantages. I personally enjoy that. So that's why I do things like Hardcore Tarkov running things that people don't normally run all the time, like the Ronin ha helmet, for example, that I'm running in this video. The only reason why I'm doing that is to see if I can get some absorptions and to see if that class three face shield has any sort of benefit. Um, but you know, I, it's still an expensive level three helmet and there really isn't much to it. And there's a reason why you don't see that many people run it, but I'm just a bit of a goofball like that. I, I prefer that type of Tarkov over constantly running that stuff. So that's why you'll hear me say that in the middle of that firefight, it does, it gives me so much joy to take out enemies when I'm not using the technical best in slot and they do. So nothing against the players at all, like GG's all around. And I probably would have been crying or complaining if I was on the other end of their weapons and ended up dying there. But either way, fun times. And we're moving on to the next day and jumping into some raids with Jesse. Where is this guy? Oh, one. 
Took a few shots. That was my bad. I missed those, though. That's on me, not the scab being a god. Uh, yo, Plinky, what's up, man? Thanks for the two... You're next. I'm dead. He's right up on the train. <gasps> Super close. Killed him. Fuck. Killed another one. Ah, oh, shit. Well, we've greatly underestimated that situation. Bro, that was crazy. <laughs> Got you with a fucking at Mod X M700. Ah, oh, dirty. Oh my god. Dude, I jumped up on the little crevasse and I was looking down towards extract with the voodoo and I just heard an ADS and then I just fell over dead. I didn't he even hear right it. I was under the bridge. Me. I had no idea it was there. It was just right behind me. That was... <laughs> <clears throat> ah, shit. All right, I'll try to secure your loot. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yes. Damn, yeah. man. Ugh. Man, I did. I didn't. Those are. They were just hanging out on the side peaks of the uh, the yeah. overpass. Yeah, I should have checked it. I hopped up to see if Other I can see somebody like down the tracks. And uh, yeah, I just. I should have. I should have checked my angles first. Here, another guy next to me. I think. Totally not in the bushes. Yeah, totally not in the bushes. Oh, uh, one guy was rocking Vector. I'm out. Or not? Wait a second. Is this not my exfil? That's not my exfil. <laughs> Wait, where do we wow. spawn? Wow, where the fuck did oh, we spawn? We spawned on the That's other amazing. Side. That's amazing, dude. <laughs> and then rotate it all the way around. I Bro. Sometimes whenever I do a super aggressive push, like I spawn near the middle and then I move towards the other extractions, try to kill some players over there and then double back to try to catch the other groups of players that are moving into the middle of the map, I sometimes forget where we spawn because I'm just moving in the opposite direction like normal. But either way, the new extraction for customs is open, so I just ran over there, used my factory key and got out. Wasn't a whole lot of extra time. I'm just gonna rip up to three. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to two and watch window. Guys, coming up to two, coming up to two. Rochelle is here as well. What's the status? There's someone on three as well. I'm alive, are you alive? I'm alive, I'm one. I just eliminated three of the dudes in Rochelle. There's a guy on two, you're on three. Uh, I just killed a PMC between two and three. Okay, I killed another PMC between two and one. Okay. I'm on third still healing. I'm on two right now. I thought it was you for a second, but I just started ripping. I was like, there's no way. Let's just hope. No. Grenade out on two for me. Okay. Throwing another nade on one. Going to close front door and side door. Throwing the nade up on three. All right. Is your buddy still on uh, third? Uh, no, I've killed two beings. I don't know if it was scavs. I killed one PMC and somebody else on third. No one left alive that I'm aware of. I'm throwing one more nade down on two and then I'm going to push just to clear. One of these was a guard up top and then a... PMC. Oh man, this was messy. Yeah, that was crazy. It was Rashala, and then I really wasn't expecting PMCs here too. 
Yeah, everyone got in here really fast. Oh. Oh my god, that almost killed me. There's PMCs throwing nades from outside. Yeah, but they came through too. They're on two? Yep. Yep. They're oh running down god. to the elbow on two. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I killed one. I'm in, I'm in elbow on two now. You're in the, how'd you get in the, oh, you went through the window, you yeah, sly yeah, yeah. bastard. I love it. Are you? I have a flashlight, flashlight's mine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> wow, what a I play. <laughs> I only just learned about that, by the way. Yeah, I've learned about it recently. I've been trying to do it whenever I can to practice. Beautiful move. Ah, oh, ah, oh, big brain, Jesse. <laughs> It's pretty, it's, it's really, it's pretty simple. You just have to make sure that you're like crouched as crouched as you can be. Like yeah. as long as like, I, sometimes I mess it up when I am like one tick above all the way crouched, but as long as you're crouched, it's pretty simple. Mm. Well, shit. Well, that one, that went from zero to a hundred. Yeah, immediately. So has Rashala been a I for? Yeah, I killed Rashala and three of the guards. In a single mag, actually, is really okay. Well, then I killed the fourth guard upstairs, so that's our shallow yeah. wipe, and like three or four PMCs. I'm going down to level one. Yeah, I think we're good. Holy cow! All right. AK-101, man. And really digging it. I'm gonna keep the AK-102. Fuck. Alright, well, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money on me for the SUV. Okay, if it's here, I think I have enough. Yeah, I've got like... I might be able to loot the gold to see if I can get enough. Cause I think I need... 5,000? 7,000? I think it's seven. Oh yeah, Woods is three. Interchange yeah. is five and Customs is seven. I got no cash on that one. I've got 15,000, I can just... Split? split. Yeah. Burger King hands. I don't know if that's a good thing or a Burger bad thing. Hands. Oh, it means that like uh, on commercials, the hands look really small when they're holding the Whopper. Mm. Wait, what the hell did you just do there, you damn wizard? The glass is still <laughs> good to go. The window doesn't break, so you can hide in here while the truck is being called. Wow. I don't even, I never did that before. <laughs> I've never, I don't even know. Yeah, that's some witchcraft. <laughs> Some voodoo. Some wizardry. Oh yeah, we should have tried that drop. Uh we on a slow raid. Yeah yeah. <clears throat> it's uh yeah. Are you pumped for the uh, factory expansion? Oh yeah, man, I'm I'm ready for it. Yeah, ready for it. Um, I'm looking forward to the boss too, but the sledgehammer is kind of weirding me out. I'm just curious oh. to see what they're gonna do with that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so weird. Like what? I'm so interested. Oh, someone opened a door bottom. Unless that was you. Uh, no, I'm up top still. You didn't open a door. I threw a nade. They're Dude. around the front side, like the... Right, I'm coming up level two. Okay, I'm up on two, I'm up on two. Hmm. So you absolutely didn't open a door, huh? With my nade? 
I'm, I'm up here. I'm up here. This is my flashlight. Yeah, yeah. You did, yeah I'm up here too, or in the stairwell, but you didn't okay. throw, you didn't open the door, did you? Oh, I might have opened this door. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This could have been a false alarm. Okay. I thought, I thought you were saying you heard that door that's on the front open, and I was like, oh no. Hmm. That false could have been alarm. Me. I'm sorry. No, well, to be honest, man, I'm on this level. It sounded like it was on my level, so I don't think mm. that's a fault of any of us. Oh, now someone's coming. From where? From buses. Oh, okay. Group. I'm on I'm on level one. I'm tucked in the corner. Yep, yep, yep. They lit me up and I'm okay. Ooh, they're coming in. I'm gonna I might die here. I killed one. Big group. Okay. Are they still outside or are they Yeah, inside? they're still outside coming through front door. Stairs, one's on two. Nice kill. Fuck, this is messy. There's more. This is where I need an ETG. Yes. ETGs are nice. I have the next best thing. That pre fire was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. If I toot my own horn. I want to say that's all of them, but there might be another. Yo, GG's. That was crazy. I. I couldn't reconcile the audio and visual. I never saw any of them. I just kept, it was like nade spam and I'd peek something and get shot and then I'd peek something else and then I just died. Like one came through the back, one came through the front, one came up to second level. There's another dude that wasn't super geared with him that came in and then another geared guy came in. That's crazy. Oh, I need that gun. I was gonna like ditch it and then It was good effort. It was good effort. I should have had it. No, I put it on. All right, your stuff is somewhat secure. Gracias. 
Yeah. I was like, uh, we were just like split trying to defend two levels. Yeah. What? I killed this guy inside, though. Somebody looted some of the gear from the first guy I killed, unfortunately. What the hell happened there? I did, apparently. That's a, like I'm a, I'm a dummy. <laughs> apparently, it was me. I, Somebody uh, looted this. I, it was, that's where, I thought the MP7 came from inside. I don't even remember looting that guy. That guy's got a couch. What a weird M4. Uh, he's got a tr he's got a killer body armor. My slick's pretty much fucked, so I might as well take it. Yeah. Thanks, Tushy Toucher. Nope. Dude, I just like squeeze through more PMCs at the extract here. Oh my. Really? Yeah, I was like dudes on the bridge fighting scavs. I just like squeezed through them. Yeah, I just got out. Didn't mind me. After this raid, Jesse and I decided to go to reserve with some different weapons. So that's going to be wrapping up the AK-101 video today. If you're getting bored of running the same old stuff all the time, I recommend switching things up. I mean, there's plenty of good ammunitions. BS, 7 and 39 M61, M995. BP and some of the new ammunitions as well for the AKM and SKS. There's a large variety of weapon options and I think the moral of the story is you don't always have to be running the best in slot gear to have some success. Mind you, in this video I was largely running slicks from the enemies that I was killing, but more or less the weaponry in this game is really what is capable of killing the enemies really fast and there's more than just two options out there that are able to do that. So if you're getting bored of the game or you're looking to, to try new things, Check out some of the weapons that you haven't used in a long time or go to your weapon masteries page and see what are the weapons that you've used the least and check some of those out and maybe you go for some masteries. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. A link to Chicken Prism and Jesse's channel will be in the description box. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.